A bit of history between these two. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Minnesota Twins. It's the MLB on 2K Sports. Welcome to Minnesota Live at Target Field. The American League Central. It's a matchup of the Twins and Chicago with the Twins on their home field. I'm Gary Thorne. Steve Phillips, John Crook with me. Major League Baseball 2K Sports. On the mound to make the start, Francisco Lariano. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? I think Gary's going to look for this lefty to back some of these hitters off the plate to make them uncomfortable because if they're comfortable, they've got a chance to do some real damage against them. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzy Guillen's got going. Scouting pick John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, when you think of Paul Canerco, you think of reliability. He's a guy that year in and year out you can count on, and he produces. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. The White Sox won last night, staying very focused these last couple of weeks. They've strung together nine in a row. Well, clearly, these guys are playing as well as anyone in baseball right now. They'll be looking to run their win streak to ten consecutive games today. First at bat, game starts with a strike. By the way, they've been playing if we bet, which of course we don't. You wouldn't bet against this ball. Well, I absolutely wouldn't. I'm not putting any money on this one. They've got everything on their side right now, and I don't see them losing ground anytime soon. And so Damon retired. I will take a quick look at the Twins and how they'll be out there positionally on defense. So, Steve, any individual standout? Joe Maurer behind the plate can really handle the pitching staff. He also has a very good throwing arm. That's uncommon for a guy six foot five with such a long delivery. Loriano sets and throws. Can't wait long enough for that one, and he starts out with a strike. Well, he just couldn't wait for that changeup to get in the strike zone. You can't try to chase it. You have to let it come to you. Hit hard on the ground towards third. And so Ramirez retired. And Paul Canerco to back. Three big hits in that game last night, and they'd love to get that contribution again today. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws on the first side is retired. And a good defensive half inning. Three up, three down. Bottom half coming right up to the Twins. Doing the pitching will be John Danks. He gets settled in for Chicago. John, how do you think he's going to approach this Minnesota lineup? Well, not many guys this young in their career pitch so many big games, but John Danks is one of them. He's a dominant pitcher who can be a top of the rotation guy, a 200 inning pitcher. He has a great fastball and a great breaking ball, and he has nothing but a bright future. And the leadoff man's on board. You love the offense when it gets going that way. Pepsi presents our starting lineup. Here's a look at the Twins. Our scouting report, John. Who are we watching for today? Well, kids, when you're watching this game today, just watch the at-bats by Joe Maurer. It doesn't matter if it's a lefty or righty. This swing is one of the best swings in all of baseball. It generates a lot of power, but he also, when he has that opportunity to drive in runs, he'll shorten it up just to take what the pitcher gives him to deliver for his team. Danks gets set and back up the middle. He grabs it. That's one. And a double play. They got a ball. Execution on that 6 4 3. You have to have body control on the bag. Great acrobatic turn by the second baseman. Outstanding job. The pitch. And that swung on and hit. Rios. That'll do it as they put that one away. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. This game is still scoreless. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton, leading the MLB in batting average. Right. And swinging and missing on Lariano's pitch, 0 1. 
Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. I had the hat trick last night, striking out three times in that ball game, and see if he can't make some adjustments today. Able to set him down there, chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. Now Gary, he's not messing around, going right at him on the 0-2 count. He didn't waste anything. He just went right for the juggler. And Beckham's in the box. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. He's off for third. And he can't quite get back in time. He is out at second base. So Alex Rios, he'll try and keep it going. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored, top five. Hot shot towards the hole. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Only five pitches to get out of that inning. That'll rest your hand. The White Sox still hoping to put something up. And so Michael Kadaya leads it off. First base. Number five, Michael Kadaya. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much when you get that kind of four seam fastball down and away it's tough to hit. Now oh, that one's way back to the backstop not a pretty pitch no damage. The one one hit hard to second. And Kadaya retired. Left fielder number 16. And Kubel's in the box. One out nobody on. Danks gets set up the middle. And that'll put Kubel on first. And that's going to bring J.J. Hardy up. It's nice to get that runner on base with one out. Good piece of hitting that single. Now they got something to work with. One out, runner on at first. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. It's gobbled up. The second for one. And there's two, a double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. And it'll be the White Sox. None other than Ozzy. That's Ozzy Gian. He's watched some great deliveries on the mound. Struggling bats, though. Important now to get the offense stinging. It's going to be Przinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Swings and misses the slider. 0-1. Oh one. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. And A.J. Przinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Here's the four-seam fastball coming at you. K.K., get a better look. And here's Martinez. Right there in the top five in home runs. Now swinging a shot toward second. And that'll set down Tian. And a brief look at who's leading the league in home runs, courtesy of State Farm. Well, this is a list of hitters that strikes fear in the opposition pitching. They have to because they know with one swing of the bat, they can change the score of the game. And Jim Tomey. Loriano sets and throws. A swing, a ball hit high, deep into right field. Goodbye, home run. The first run of the ball game. You'll have to get that on the big fly ball and a 1 0 lead. At the well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Base is empty and two down. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swings lines this one back up the middle and it's in there that hitting streak continues. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Coming up with the trade deadline now. Here's what the central division looks like courtesy of the State Farm standings board. It's the White Sox in first. Twins in the second spot. In third place it's the Royals. Fourth place, the Indians, and rounding out the list, the Tigers. 
Uh, Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. And swinging and missing on Lariano's pitch, 0 and 1. Get a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. There's a ball hit well deep in the center field way back way back gone a two run homer. At the plate. White Sox With lead expanding here Gary they just keep getting big hits number 14. Paul Canerco. And he starts Canerco out. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. His lifetime average, 262 against the Twins. That's it, foul by Canerco. There's a swing and a line drive. And another hit. They're really gunning right now. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. And a brief moment to see who's the top the league batting wise brought to you by State Farm. All these guys have a similar trait that ability to put the good part of the bat on the ball and make solid contact on a consistent basis. And they're willing to hit from line to line, not just being pull hitters. He's number one in runs scored in the league. First pitch to Quinton. Oh, and one. swinging and missing on Lariano's pitch. 0 oh, and 1. Here's the delivery. Swung on and ripped towards second. And that's going to do it in this half inning. And so that was the inning they were looking for. Three runs, the first three runs in our ballgame here in the third. The White Sox lead 3 to nothing. Tolbert at the plate. Number 20, Matt Colbert. A line drive towards short. And it's caught by Ramirez. Here's a look at what's coming up for the White Sox. They'll wrap up this series with Minnesota today. There's another stop on the road trip. The Mariners at Safeco Field. It will be a three-game series. Then there's another stop on the road trip. The Athletics, Northern California, in Oakland. So they'll be out and about over a good bit of that upcoming schedule. Banks gets set and delivers. The left center makes its way through for a single. Not even close with that throw. He's on it first. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but he gets blasted right back with the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Stephen, looked like he might have been guessing down there. I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate. He took advantage of it. Starts him up with a change up for a strike. They just plain old fooled him right there. He must have been looking for something else. Hit his spot perfectly with that change up. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. One. And they get two. Great double play. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. The White Sox still on top. Well, there are going to be lots of snow cones and ice cream sales here today. Anything to cool you down. And Beckham's in the box. He's averaged 391 lifetime off Minnesota. Mauer setting up. Perhaps this one foul to the right. Francisco Lariano delivers the strike and he's up on two. A great change up right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? Fouled away. Foul! Lariano sets and throws. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. Oh, he had a swing at it, two strikes, ball up and away, a good pitch to at least put the player foul off, but couldn't quite catch up to it. One out, and Alex Rios at the plate. And right now, top five in runs batted wow. in in the league. 
That's it foul by Rios. Francisco Lariano delivers the strike and he's up on two. Well that pitch right there he just blew it right by the hitter swung late. And Alex Rios has struck out a big swing and a miss. Now K-Cam's going to show us a good look at this slider. It's going to be Brzezinski. One of the best batting averages in the league. The first pitch. And swinging and missing on Lariano's pitch. 0-1. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. And there's Young for out number three. No hit. First pitch to Span. Swung on, soft liner to the right side. Back, I'm able to pull that one in. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. They'll wrap up this series with Minnesota today. There's another stop on the road trip. The Mariners at Safeco Field. That'll be a three-game series. Then they'll continue the road trip for the next series. The Athletics, Northern California in Oakland. That's quite a few road games coming up, and that's always challenging. And swung on, line softly to right. And Young's got himself a single. So that brings up Joe Mauer. Well, he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one out base hit. One down, runner at first. And Mauer ready for the first pitch. Swung on, liner to right. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Great opportunity for Minnesota. Every big league hitter can hit the fastball, especially when it's down the heart of the plate. Good piece of hitting right there. Doesn't try to do too much, but picks up a single to right field. Oh, that pitch is not going to be in there from Danks. Uh, Gary's been doing a nice job of kind of dancing out there. On the Swung on and hit. It's going to be Quentin. Two down here in the inning. There's the throw. There's the throw. He is safe at third base ahead of that play. Two outs now. The runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead intact. Danks gets set and delivers. Cutter just misses. One and zero. This cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches. Cutter just off the black and he falls behind. Two and zero. Up the middle, fielded by Ramirez, and they get the force at second that time. That'll do it. Save your arm. Do it by pitching only eight times in one inning, three outs. The White Sox still ahead. And a very hot afternoon. Temperatures increasing a little over the last couple of hours. Teague's going to be a problem. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. And Mowers calling for the pitch. Well hit towards the middle. And that'll put Tien on first. So Jim Tomey coming up. We'll get a break here and a chance to look at the leaders in slugging team-wise. Brought to you by State Farm. The White Sox number one. The Red Sox in second. Third, the Yankees. The Twins fourth. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. Two teams that love to drop it. There's a swing and a smash. One away. Stepping up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. Runner on first now for Johnny Damon. And one of the top ten averages right now. First pitch on the way to Damon. That one's drilled to short. And in there, he's two for three today. That's a great situation for some offense. Consistency, professionalism. He never seems to give up in at back Gary. He's so locked in this year. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored, top five. There's contact. He drove it well. It's off the wall and a hop. Tian's on his way home. He throws, and he's in there. 
Boy, the continuation the here of this offense is called big time momentum. Number 14. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. RBI chance goes to Paul Canerco. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Well, now they're putting some distance between themselves and their opponent. With the bats like that, keep tacking on the runs and pulling away. Up next, Carlos Quinton. Well, I think we're seeing some padding here, although in this game there's no such thing as insurance runs, really. You've got the pitcher on the rope. You have to take advantage of it while he's down. Loriano sets and throws. A swing, a high drive deep into center field. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Salami. Well, it, the pitcher's going to have to make some adjustments right now, Gary. That's the third home run he's given up in this game. The hitters have figured out some kind of sequence they're queuing on. Now, good hitting coaches help the hitters do that. 15, Gordon Beckham. One out, nobody on. And here's the first one. Swings a little late that time. Strike one. Steve, you get the bases loaded. You know you got the chance. You hope for the big shot, and there it was. And you know, right now, you think to yourself, yeah, maybe if I just walked the guy instead of throwing to him, he wouldn't have given up all four. Here it comes. Slider swung out and missed. Two down. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. And out on the mound, we've got John Roush. He's been chosen to take over out there. Well, they had to go to the bullpen much earlier than they anticipated, but the starter wasn't getting it done, and you can't let this game get away from him. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Strike one, Roush got him to swing on one. This one swung on and driven hard. And there's Young for out number three. So they add five more to the total and widen that gap. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. None other than Ozzy. That's Ozzy Gian. And now his lineup is in overdrive. And an exciting bit of run production. A good way to keep your manager happy. That's a good pitch from Danks. It's in there. Call strike and it's quickly 0 and 2. A shot up the middle and it's through Hardy the single. Up to the nice two strike well, approach by the hitter. A high Second pitch base. up in the zone. Able to fight it off and make contact and put it in play. Colbert at the plate and frequently walked. He's the most walked hitter in this division. The first pitch, and he takes a call strike. As one of the leaders on this team in walks, he just rarely chases the ball out of the zone. He finds a way to get on base. Now 0 and 2, Danks with some pitches to play with. Danks gets set and delivers. Swung on, line softly towards center. That should be a base hit. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. It's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. Keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Looks at one. That's in there for a strike. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter. You're way ahead of the game. Popped into foul territory down the left side. Had a look at that one, but can't come up with it.
Tried to get him to go after that cutter, but it's one and two. And he watches one high, two and two. He had great arm motion on that changeup right there, but he left it just a little bit high. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Over to Canerco. That's one away. Hunto at the plate. He hit into a double play his last time. Now the first pitch. And he takes one in there, 0 and 1. A career 268 hitter against the White Sox. Strike that time, and it's 0 and 2. I looked locked in last night the way he swung the bat. Good stroke, good contact. See if he can't get it going again today to add those two hits from yesterday. Able to set him down there. Chuck that one up as a strikeout for him. Well, 90 miles per hour on the gun, but still not much movement. Denard Span, two out, couple on. One for two in the ballgame. Danks gets set and delivers. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Now, oh, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Strike two call in the hole, 0 and 2. Fastball swung on and missed, side retired. They give two men in scoring position. Couple of hits. Can't get them home, though. Minnesota still looking for the bats. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crock bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. It's going to be Pruszynski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. First pitch. Swing, hot now shot. Batting. What a but tremendous catch right there. I mean, what a great Perfect. effort getting to that 20. ball, making that catch. Mark Tien. And Mark Tien up. One out, faces him. Swings, clobbers it deep. Left center field. Out of here, a home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Batting and it's Jim Tomey at the plate. Designated hitter, number 27, Jim Tomey. Base is empty with one away. Mauer setting up. Strike one. Roush got him to swing on one. And a big, big offensive day, Steve. Like you said, uh, they've just got the bats rolling today. Well, tough. Going to be very tough for them to come back right now. The, the power numbers being there. I mean, three innings You're left, but an awful lot of ball. Down, down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching. Work. Well, that one's as straight as a straight. Just registered 91 on the gun. Two straight fastballs he still couldn't catch up with. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. And it's Johnny Damon now. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, will cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, if you weren't watching last night, you may not know he had two RBIs in that ball game. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Well, Gary's not a lot of guys played today that can hit one that far and straight away center field. Williams once asked McGuire, do you smell it burning when you do that? I think there was some uh, wood burning on that one. Base is empty and two down. And the first pitch. Back up the middle. Oh, that'll move you on the mound. He just barely got out of the way. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. So they get the long ball working as they have two solo homers in this half of the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. It'll be batters two through four do up next. Leading it off, Delvin Young. Had a base hit his last time up. Number 21, Delvin Young.
Danks gets set and Break delivers. Up. Cut fastball, swung on and missed, 0 and 1. But Gary, they've only left a couple runners on base offensively so far through the middle part of this ball game, and you know they're going to have to give themselves more opportunities to see if they can't come up with that big base hit. That's just not enough offense. Ball. Young makes contact, fouled off. Yeah. And the cut fastballs in there, strike three, one away. Well, it took four pitches, no wasted time right there, and he got it. What I liked the most was he was very deliberate with what he had to do. He knew he had he can go out of the strike zone to get the punch out, and that's what he did, getting him to swing. And here's Joe Mount. The lifetime average 345 off John Danks. And Mauer ready for the first pitch. Hit in the air. And in there, at least for a single as it gets down. That'll bring up Michael Kadaya. Let's take a moment to check out the top hitting teams around the league. Our leaderboard comes to you courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. The Yankees, second. In third, the Twins. Fourth, the Red Sox. And number five, the Indians round it out. But when you're playing in a game when the other team is as adept at hitting the baseball as you are, you can't get down on yourselves if you fall behind in this game because you know and you have to be able to trust the fact that your team can come back. Problem is, the other team hits equally as well, so your pitching better be on top of its game. Cutter called strike three. He knew it, too. Two down. But good, great confidence right there in his stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, and he figured, why worry? It's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. That's a foul ball. In there, and he falls behind 0 and 2. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt. That's where you go. Danks gets set and delivers. Another foul ball. Kubel and a good at bat. Well, the battle starts when you step in the batter's box, but the real battle starts when the count is 0-2, and that's where he sees himself. But give him credit. He's keeping himself alive by fouling off that tough 0-2 pitch on the outside part of the plate. Let's see if he can make the pitcher make a mistake. John Danks comes off the mound. He's now the pitcher of record. He looks to keep the shutout intact. And it'll be the White Sox. DePaul Conerco to lead it off. First pick, number 14, Paul Conerco. And he starts Conerco out. Swung on line to right center field. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. I remember that grand slam in his last at bat. Boy, good offensive production today. Some quality at bats, driving in runs, and then the power's coming out as well. And I'll tell you what, there's not a pitch he can't hit. First pitch to Quinton. That one swung on its line. And he gets that one down. His second hit, two for four today. And Canerco will score. Now, get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. Rush with the pitch. He makes contact. Line drive. Now, rank wise now let's take a look at where the Minnesota Twins sit in the American League number third in batting average third most in hits and they're ranked third in on base percentage knowing on base percentage is a real asset to trying to score runs the more runners you get on the more opportunities you have to score runs say goodbye a three run homer with that three run homer they just extended their lead. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. AJ Now the first pitch. 
Swings at that breaking ball but misses. It's 0 and 1. And Steve, uh, this is the point in the ball game where you are really putting it to the opposition. The long ball can do that to you late. Well, there's no question. I mean, you give up those home runs, and it just deflates your own team. So, offense ruling the way. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as K. Number 20. Very little movement on this pitch at 93 miles per hour, courtesy of KK. Well, this is a pitch right there that you just have to take a bigger hack at right there. He just swung through it. Batting is all about rhythm, and he appeared to be off right there. Johnny did. He had his—he uh, had the timing of the hitter completely off. And we've got Jose Maharas on the mound. The Twins bring him in to relieve, and that'll set down Tian. And it's Jim Tomey in the box now. Tomey gets in. Here's the first delivery. Swing and a miss, and he's behind that pitch. 0-1. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Swing and a miss on the ball that was off the plate. 0 and 2. And here's the pitch. A smash to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they add a four spot here to extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with it. Here's J.J. Hardy leading it off. One for two in the ball game. Number one, JJ Hardy. Hardy settles in. First pitch. Change up, just misses. One and zero. Oh. Okay, listen. He's he's made pitches. He's at. They've had a few base runners on against them. No question about. It. They've gotten a few hits, but he's not. He's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. Great call. Strike two. Hitters have to have great balance and be prepared for the pitch away. If you open up even a little bit, you can't catch up to that four seam fastball on the outside corner. So he's aboard. Base hit, nobody out. Coming up with the trade deadline now, here's what the Central Division looks like, courtesy of the State Farm Standings Board. First place, the White Sox. In the second spot, the Twins. In third place, it's the Royals. Fourth place, the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The uh, Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. And Friday's back, rounded out last time. Now Przinski positions himself on the ground to third. Tian throws on the first side, is retired. And now that's seven, count them, seven shutout innings going. I think he's got the stuff to do it Gary. I think he wants to finish the rest of this game. He's got the legs. The White Sox still on top. <laughs> and it's Johnny Damon. Got a home run in his last at bat. Now, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing. So interesting move. Filed off that first pitch in its own one. Can't catch up with it, 0 and 2. Well, right there, you can just tell that the hitter was absolutely fooled on that pitch. Nothing you can do. He tried to reach out and just put it in play, but he swung through it. Able to set him down there, chalked that one up as a strikeout for him. When you love what he did right there, there's no time wasted. Let's go right after him and sit him down. That's about keeping a hitter off balance, and he certainly did there. Well, just a hello, how you doing, and see you later. And the first pitch. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. On the way. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. He delivers a swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. The ability to move your pitches around within the zone, to change a hitter's eye level and keep them off balance are critical to success. Very successful there. Three pitches and a strikeout. Ah, he can't catch up with that one. 0-1. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no one left on. And it's the Twins, bottom half of the eighth. 
for those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Kruk and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. First pitch on the way. And it's fouled away. Foul ball! No balls, one strike. Here's Danks. Looks at one that's in there, 0 oh 2. Well, what an outstanding effort uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top of his game, making the pitches, and offensively, they just have not been able to back hits up with other hits to mount the rally. They've been held scoreless here today. Struck him out on three pitches. That gets it done in a hurry. Uh, efficient and in control. When you have those two things working for you, you're going to get it done. Here's the pitch. And Tien with the catch. He's just four outs away from a complete game shot. Now he's so locked in. He's in the zone right now. I think he can handle it. First delivery to Young. Doesn't make contact on that Danks pitch. Okay, there are so many different ways to get hitters out. Velocity, the change in velocity. Just towards the middle. Danks. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And he'll head back to the dugout knowing three outs, and he's got himself a shutout. He's got it. I like the way he's pitching. I think he's going to go all the way. Minnesota still looking for the bats. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. Double home run in his last at bat. Well, it's always nice to have a defensive replacement coming off the bench and holding a lead or holding a deficit and giving yourself a chance to win. Now he needs to come up with a big play. Here's the first pick. Can't connect. It's 0-1. He's gone one for two lifetime against Jose Maharas. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. And Quentin's got himself a base hit. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in hits. And he's also first in on-base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch. Work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And the first pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. As he retreats back for it and gets the out. Coming to back for the Chicago White Sox. Center fielder number 50. He's a runner on for Alex Rio. He had a three-run homer last time in the lineup. He's just on a tear right now. He's seeing the ball so well. He's driving in runs, scoring runs, hitting home runs, doing a little bit of everything to help his team win. Couldn't get around in time. 0-1. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Swung and a fly ball. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Coming it's going to be Przinsky. The Chicago White Sox. Catcher, number 12. One out, nobody AJ on. Przinsky. The pitch. Swing and lined up the middle. And that'll put Przinsky on first. That brings up Mark Tian. Let's check out the league hit leaders courtesy of State Farm. Had a home run back in the sixth. Runner at first with one down. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Clobbers this ball. A soaring drive deep left center field. Two run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Pitch down and away, Steve. He found a way to go out and get it. Well, that's a pitcher's pitch. I mean, there's not much you can do there. That's an exceptional job of hitting. Not many guys can hit a home run on that one. Coming to back. They have not the figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense hitter. today. They look so good. Jim Tillman. 
Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. A line drive towards short. And that'll get him aboard there on a roll. Coming to and that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. Here's what the Twins have in store. We wrap up the Chicago series today. We stay home for another team series, the Cleveland Indians. That'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. After that, they'll be looking for a payback against a tough team. The Orioles at Oriole Park. Struck out swinging his last time up. One out, runner on at first. Here's the pitch. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Here's a look at the matchup numbers. 3-0-1 off the Twins. That ball is belted deep left center. That ball is way back there. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. And Matt Guerrero gets Chicago ready to throw. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? Well, Matt Guerrero comes in the game as a workhorse. He can go multiple oh, innings in yeah. multiple days. 79 games pitched in 2009, and how does he do it? Well, he has a fastball in the low to mid-90s. He has a good slider, but his best pitch is his breaking ball, and he throws two different ways. It's a 12 You're to 6, out. but he can change speeds with it, go down or go up, and that makes it so difficult for the hitters to pick up. And he only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Boy, that's a tough at bat for the hitter. He's got to walk away almost before he even got there. And Paul Canerco to bat. Got a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. And there's Young for out number three. But not before they really opened this thing up with three long balls. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crock and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Cole. Danks gets set and delivers. Back up. And Morales retired. It's Michael Kadaya in the box now. With a call third strike in his last time up. First pitch to Kadaya. A swing and a foul off to the right side. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And Kadaya has got himself a single. Coming to and that'll bring up Jason Kubel. Now our State Farm leaderboard, the teams with the highest on base percentage. The White Sox number one, second the Yankees, the Twins third, Red Sox fourth, and fifth best, the A's. A great matchup right here. These two offenses, really scrappy battlers at the plate, falling off the pitcher's pitch, doing anything they can to get on base. Pitchers are going to have to keep coming in the zone to try to get out. A tough loss here for this crowd today, but boy, do they see some some kind of pitching performance from the visiting team. Time now to honor the Pepsi Clutch performer. Definitely a difference maker in this one, John Danks. Well, you know, when you're facing a tough pitcher, it doesn't take long to realize that we're in for a tough day. And then we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter. And he was able to ride that one on to victory. Well, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today. The good stuff and location to shut down the opponent. And that's going to do it for us here. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. Take care.